Hi, this is Jared. Welcome back to my channel, Advertising on Facebook. Love if you guys could drop me a like or a comment after the end of this. Uh, especially subscribe so as I upload more videos, uh, you guys get an alert uh, for all the great information that we'll be sharing. And if you would love a free course on Facebook advertising, we put together some really great tips, absolutely free on our website. So just go uh, click on the button on the right bottom corner of my page. Uh, you'll see the link. Head over there and grab it for free. It'll be automatically emailed uh, emailed out to you. So in this quick video, I'm going to show you uh, really a big mistake that a lot of people make when they're using advertising on Facebook. Um, there's there's a lot of in-depth things you can do, but one of the the ways or the things that people are concerned about is obviously overspending, spending too much money, not really sure about uh, which ad sets are working the best which interests are getting the best return on their investment so i'm going to show you basically how uh that mistake commonly happens and how to avoid it so right here we're in the back end of uh, power editor um, so right now we've gone from our just initial campaign setup we're in ad sets right now which you can see right here the next option is ads so we'll, we'll just start from the top um, this is just a test one um, there's a lot of different things we could talk about in here but uh, for time's sake, let's just focus on, let's say, $20 a day. We're going to leave the scheduled start date uh, the same, scheduled end, that, yeah, that's fine. So we want to set up a new audience. So let's say uh, if we wanted to set up a lookalike audience or something else, we could do so here, but we're, that'll be a video for another day. So where the errors really start to come into play is in the location targeting and the interest targeting. So we'll just leave United States now, the fine, uh, the same. Um, age let's leave the same now uh, a big one where people can test uh, actually what's working is male or female a lot of times people leave it just checked as all but if they don't break it down uh, male or female could actually convert better and you'll, you'll never really know that if you kind of die unless you really dive into the analytics so sometimes it's important to uh, obviously choose men or just women um, or do one campaign for men and then another ad set just for women so you can actually see what's working your best um, languages we could just leave it for English and so what we'll do then uh, this is where people start to make the mistake so they'll go into their detailed targeting and let's just pick uh, some group we want to go after so let's say we want to go after I don't know real estate investors people who like investing in real estate so what they'll come down they'll start to pick and choose uh, by interest so let's say we type in real estate investing and so that's an interest and then what you can do is you can keep typing things in um, but then the suggestions will come up so people will say okay well people let's target people who also like property investing and let's target people who also like to be a real estate entrepreneur and uh, here's another go on real estate investors. Um, then we'll also pick uh, creative real estate investing, etc. So what a lot of people start to do is they start to clump all their interests together. And what this really doesn't allow you to do, if this is all clumped together, you'll actually never know which interest is converting the best for you, which is getting you the best cost per clicks. Um, the best click-through rates, the best conversion. So a big people mistake, uh, excuse me, a big mistake people make is they lump all their interests together um, and they say, all right, let's let's put as many things that we think are are as good as possible, which which is an easy mistake to make. But what they do, they don't really allow themselves to uh, see what's making them the most money or getting the best the best cost clicks because everything's lumped together and it's not broken down. So I'm going to show you how to basically fix that, uh, fix that in a second here. But while we're while we're in this box right here, which a lot of your work is done in, let's do uh, another important thing is where uh, this is a very important uh, tab right here, narrow audience. So what you want to do, let's say, ideally we would only have uh, one of these. So we will take out the rest, and let's say you really wanted to narrow down your audience even further because that's still 480,000 people so it's a we want to narrow it down further so a big way to do that is to just click that narrow audience which is important and then you go ahead you pick another field let's say we wanted to do it by financial 
in income. So people that make, I don't know, between 150 to $250,000 a year. So now that's down to 12,000 people. So uh, a big way to do this, is, a great way to do it is only pick one interest. And if you want to narrow it down further, you see where it says, and must also match at least one of the following. So that's important. You click narrow audience, and then you pick another field to narrow it, narrow it down further. But I'm going to show you, obviously, you may want to make this audience bigger. So you don't, just to go back, you don't keep adding an in interest here. I'm going to show you how you can duplicate your ad. You can take out this interest, add a new one in um, very quickly and easily, which will allow you to see which ad sets or which ads are actually working the best for you. Hey, guys. So welcome back. I just paused it for a second and switched screen. So what I wanted to show you here is basically how you can go from the one interest and then once your ad is set up and you you set up like your video your image ads your headlines all the content uh, which if you don't know how to do that yet no problem I'll make another video on that or just leave a comment below um, and I'll make a video specifically for you answering your questions so what you want to do here's some old campaigns that I ran so let's say you had your your one interest set up and but you know you had another four or five interests that you you still want to use so what you want to do is you want to come over to your your campaign put you in your campaign settings um, you click on the one that you just set up it'll be listed here and you go right up to duplicate and you click on duplicate just get myself out of the way and it'll say uh, number of duplicates so you can say one two three as many as, as many as you really want so let's say we can do this one at a time to keep it easy and you say um, Let's just expand this a little. Activate any new campaigns and ad sets or ads that will be created. So yes, you want to hit create. Then what it does is it'll actually duplicate all your settings so you don't have to do everything all over. So the only thing you would have to do then is go into your ad set up here. Um, you just pick a new ad set. So what I did is I just paused it for a second so you could see what will happen. So you'll come back into your ad set and the original, um, well, the first interest that you had that you left in there for your first ad will obviously will still be there. So what you want to do then is you just replace that one with the other one that maybe you had in mind. So maybe the next one, obviously, here's a big um, survival life is like a big uh, magazine or blog about survival. So my first interest was basically survival. So I'll take that out. And I'll just put my new one in, and then I'll just save it. I'll go back up. I'll save this one, and you'll have a whole new campaign, basically. Um, but you'll have a new interest pick, so you don't have to go through, make all your ads again. You don't have to make all the headlines, make all the content all over again. So what you want to do is you want to set up your first campaign, do it all the, everything you want, and then go ahead and pick four or five, six interests that you think you want to target that's relevant to what you're advertising, but you're going to make an e you're going to make an ad set for each one, and then you're going to run all those. But just make sure you change, um, you make sure you just change your budget because if you don't change your budget, uh, let's say your initial one was set for twenty dollars, which uh, Facebook automatically sets it to, your new one will also be set at twenty dollars. So let's say you wanted to spend twenty or fifty dollars overall for your whole campaign if you don't change that each new one will be set to twenty dollars so just make sure you go back up let's say you wanted twenty dollars go back into your original one make that for five dollars make your next one for five dollars your next one for five and your next one for five so you only actually be spending uh, twenty dollars not twenty on each individual one so you could spend a lot of money and you wouldn't even know that so that's important just to do that so again just to recap uh, break your interest down into individual camp uh, individual ad sets uh, and it's an easy way for you to actually see which one is working the best and then once you know which one is getting you uh, the best click-through rates or the best conversions or, or the lowest cost per click uh, you can start to get rid of the ones that are not working good and start to scale on the ones that are working good and that can really help you uh, get more leads in better, get better conversions lead to more sales and everything like that so I hope you guys found these tips helpful I would love if you could leave me some comments or some questions some feedback uh, awesome if you could subscribe so when I upload some more videos you could be alerted and also as always head over to my website grab our free uh, Facebook marketing copy it's automatically emailed out to you loaded with a bunch of great free information uh, we have some good things coming down the line um, so if you go to our website you get on our newsletter and stuff you always be alerted to that uh, so look forward to talking to you guys soon and on the next video
Take care.